Hey Tribe of Journeymen and Women, uh, so today I have a very special episode for you which I recorded actually before COVID-19. It was a project which took some days and it's about overcoming your fears, or actually more specifically pressure testing your fears. And I'll give you a quick glimpse and intro of what this video is going to be about. So it's a practice that I personally did for a long time now and it has made a huge impact on my life and specifically and why it really works to say that it's pressure testing fears i hope this wind is not too bad for the audio but hope so um because a lot of the fears we have we and that includes myself i experienced that numerous times we believe them to be true we, we think like i know why am i afraid of this this is the thing to be afraid of definitely and fear is a strong word maybe sometimes it's you know, there's levels of fear. Maybe sometimes it's like you're dreading to do something or maybe sometimes you're just hesitant. So when I say fear, don't think I'm thinking, I'm only talking about like f hardcore fear, but but like a, a kind of a fear, for example, to go and ask a lady out for coffee, you know, or fear to look stupid, kind of those fears. And it could be anything. And so we believe in those fears because we're certain that there's a good reason for it. But what I noticed in my life, and obviously applies to everyone, is when, sometimes when you take, you have the courage and you decide that, you know what, fuck it, I'm still gonna do it. I know I'm afraid to do it, but, and probably this is gonna fail and suck miserably, but I'll still do it despite that. And what's interesting in my experience, most of the times, shadow dog is attacking us most of the times uh turns out that you were wrong and i was wrong i thought like oh if i do this definitely everybody's gonna hate me this is gonna suck but it turns out it didn't and it turns out that fear there was no reason to be afraid and sometimes yes there is a good reason but often more often than not when you pressure test your fear and you allow yourself to courageously see if you're right or not, if it's a thing to be afraid of, my dog just pulled me so I would make a free 60 turn. You learn that that fear was actually false and that liberates a lot of energy. That liberates a lot of your mental capacity because you realize that limitation that you set yourself up for was never meant to be there it, it was just a limitation which wasn't true and yeah it's it's an awesome feeling to overcome that so i don't want to make this video too long uh, sorry i mean this intro so what i will do i will my dog is pooping i'll finish while my dog is pooping and i'll let you see a documentation for a few weeks in a row i was documenting every time i bumped into a fear or i realized i'm not doing something because i'm afraid of i I did it. Nevertheless, I pressure tested my fear to see if my assumption that I shouldn't do this is right or not. And I documented how it turned out after I did what I was afraid of, despite that. So good luck watching the video and I'll talk to you again at the end of it. So I noticed that one of my fears is connected to people that I respect. So if I am at odds, someone, if I have high respect for someone, I have a more difficult time, especially when with these people I have to ask for favors or ask some question which is more driven towards what I need. And uh, one of these cases just popped up now and I want to ask uh, Coach John Kavanaugh, the famous MMA coach, uh, if his brother, who is also well known uh, across the social platforms, if he would be open to talk to me on record the next time I visit Dublin. And the interesting thing is, the easiest way would be to just not ask. You know, this is not necessary. I don't have to do it. And I feel that there's a bit of a fear in me, like, ah, I know John is busy and I don't want to bother him with my stuff and you know, this is kind of asking a favor and and putting it on his shoulders and 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 there's so much uncomfort here and the easy way would be just not to ask just skip it 
but if we are pressure testing our fears, unless I try, unless I will ask, I will never know. Would he agree? Would he be upset? Which actually kind of sounds ridiculous now that I say it. But, you know, maybe, maybe it's not as big of a deal as I think, or, or maybe it is, and I will find out. So as I'm going to go on a bus just in a minute, I'm going to write that message despite my fear and we'll see what's gonna happen. So on to pressure testing our fears. So I have really good news. John has wrote me back and James is open for the talk and we're already connecting up about the details. I'm super excited about that. And once more, this is not the first time it happens to me where I'm afraid to do something, but I allow myself to do it. And that usually leads to some amazing things which would have never happened if I didn't. So I'm excited to share this with you. And yeah, this is gonna become a talk which you will be able to even see later on just because we pressure tested a fear. So. Let's see and find out what the next fear is going to be. So I just realized that I bumped into a situation which is a fear decision situation and it's related to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I haven't been training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Lithuania for a couple of months. I made a break and now I thought that it's a good time to come back. But before I did it, I started to feel that fear of two different things. And one of the things is you might know that I tried to introduce a new direction that I wanted to go to by also wearing this uh, unique uniform, unique outfit and uh, kind of vaguely discussing and expressing what I want to do. And a lot of people thought that I am going crazy. And the guy in the gym a lot of them know me as the youtube guy they they follow my journey and it isn't comfortable to think about the fact that i will go there and some of them may look at me and think ah oh, did workers go crazy or even ask me about this it's such an uncomfortable feeling but i realized i can't stop my life and wait until i will prove that this works and not do anything until then but i have to overcome this and and own it and go there despite the controversy that is happening right now and the other level is it's difficult to go to a regular class that you attended for a while and then you stopped because you come back after a while and, and again you're expecting that people might judge you and, and think and say like so where were you why did you not come and and nobody wants to go through that feeling including me but again i realized that's a fear and i can't let my fear guide me i have to pressure test this fear and see Am I right? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm just making this step up. Maybe nothing like that is going to happen or it's going to happen. It's not going to be as bad as I think, or maybe it's going to happen. So we'll see. And uh, so, yeah, I'm right now already next to the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, place and I will go there and pressure test my fear and let you know how it happened. So I just came back out from the Jiu Jitsu training and I have to say it was awesome. I mean, people were very welcoming. The coach was happy to see me and nobody complained about me coming back. And even some people came to me after the class and said, oh, you know, I'm watching your YouTube. And, and they didn't, they weren't hard about the new direction. I was just kind of humble and saying, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm trying this new thing. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we saw it. It's, you know, it's cool, it's cool. And it felt great. I had some good roles and uh, I had some good partners and I actually feel very energized. I mean, obviously tired, broken down, but but I'm so happy I did it. And this is not the first and obviously not the last time where I thought about doing something and the fear of being uncomfortable was saying, you know, don't do it, do it later, find a better time. And I still did it. I pressure tested my fear despite that. And it worked out as a wonder. And, uh, and the same can be said about the previous example. So it makes you think. And uh, probably the next, example will be the last one for this episode because we want to keep this episode short enough but we'll see what happens next so this is pressure testing fears number three and i'm in a bus and the funny thing is that i started to realize most of my fears are social fears it's something that i am uncomfortable of doing which includes other people. And in particular, in this case, what I'm pressure testing as a fear right now is, I'm on a bus, it's 8 a.m. and there's some people sleeping here. And what, I, what bugs me is, I don't want to be the guy who 
you know, kind of disturbs the peace, makes people feel uncomfortable. And, you know, maybe that's, um, maybe that's a cultural conditioning that I have. I think it's part of me being Lithuanian. It's kind of our part of our cultural conditioning. And also, too, it kind of limits my self-expression. And not to say that I should run around the bus and scream and do whatever crap, but, but also it's still, if I'm conscious of not being a nuisance to others, of not shouting out loud, uh, if, I, if I still limit myself from, let's say, recording this video on the bus, because I'm afraid I will make someone feel uncomfortable by the fact that I'm doing this, it still limits my life. It still limits my self-expression. It still limits my abilities to do something that I need to do, do something that is important. So that's the reason exactly why I'm doing this right now. And we'll see how good or bad this will end up being. I'll let you know after. Oh, actually, yeah. So the thing is, I'm going to record and <laughs> planning to record a vlog here for at least 10, 20 minutes. So that's definitely a challenge for me, but I'm going to do it to pressure test my fear and see how the results will go. And I will let you know how all things went afterwards. I wouldn't do this otherwise because of my fear. But as we spoke before, if you're afraid of something, you have to do it. So I'm taking the bus home. Actually, it's a different bus now. After a few hours, I filmed the video and guess what? Guess how did my pressure testing of this year went? I give you a couple of seconds to think. And the answer is, it was great. Nobody cared. I didn't even wake up the people around me. There was, there were a bunch of guys, a few rows ahead who were sleeping. I checked it out after I filmed. They were still sleeping. So yet again, the fear was only in my head. It wasn't really realistic. And I, I was the only one who really cared about it. So once again, a pressure test proved that I was fearing for nothing. And now I'm making this video after a while and I feel much better about doing it because uh, I tried out living out my fear and it seems there's nothing to fear about. So I can continue living on without limiting myself in filming at buses. Of course, not being too obnoxious. flat on my face but I didn't it's scary man <laughs> it's some scary stuff let's find an uphill and try there well I was intimidated to do it initially at the end of it though I felt like we were two cowboys successfully riding into the sunset after a big victory. The feeling was awesome. So, that's how my dog is talking. Grinche! Fool! Okay, so as you saw in the video, I think he's facing his fears now. Grinche! Just give us a moment. This is all gonna pass. Usually he doesn't. I think he's probably, he was emotionally hurt, probably the, the black dog said something bad to him. So, coming back to fears, um, as you see, those were just four examples, but uh, I've done that a lot of times, I'm cursed by dogs in this neighborhood. So I've done that a lot of times in the past, uh, if you are aware of my biggest YouTube yet, YouTube video yet, which has over 3 million views, uh, called Aikido versus MMA. 
that was like that. That was an example of it where I was afraid to do it. I was hesitant to do it, but despite my fears, I still did it. And that turned out to be a life-changing revolutionary video. Again, as I said, got 3 million views and um, it changed my life and it opened up the eyes of many people and it got me on the journey of the martial arts journey. And yeah, if I wouldn't, ha if I would have given to that fear, if I wouldn't have filmed that video, none of that would have happened. And uh, I have numerous, so many examples where I felt the fear and I realized, you know what? I am not doing this, not because I don't want to, but I'm not doing this because I'm afraid of. That's the main reason. And then I would make the decision to do it. And that's kind of what pressure testing is about, is uh, pressure testing fear is finding those moments where you realize and catch yourself you're not doing something primarily because you're afraid of not for any other reason and when i had those moments that, that was like a very active practice for me for like a year or two years every time i caught myself not doing something primarily because i was afraid of i would force myself to do it i would go and talk to that unknown person i would go and you know jump into a cold water. And obviously there, there are some limitations. I always like to set them up and to say that you shouldn't uh, pressure test fears, which may lead to permanent damage. Like, you know, you get your arm cut off or you lose an eye or something. Don't pressure test fears there. There are plenty of safe ways to pressure test your fears. Like, you know, if you're gonna ask a girl out, maybe it's gonna be like a psychological trauma for you or, you know, a boy, whatever. Uh, but, but that's not deadly like you know it's not real permanent damage so you can do it also don't get yourself into jail you know don't pressure test your fears like i'm afraid to rob a bank that's stupid that may end up getting you in jail don't do that but there's a lot trust me there's a lot of fears which are safe enough to pressure test and to see if they're if there's actually a good reason to, to be afraid of them or not so i am not necessarily challenging you but i'm encouraging you to try that method out every time you catch yourself there's actually a cat here, which walks around and he smells it. And now you see he's kind of in his hunting mood, looking for the cat, it's funny. Look at him. So yeah, so find those moments where you are, where you find yourself not doing something because you're primarily afraid of it and realize that and try it out, do it and see what the results will be. In. As you saw in this video, sometimes they may be life-changing. And for the very last moment, the very last bit I wanted to just quickly share is, yeah, uh, most of the things we are afraid of, it's just a mental construct. Maybe I'll make a video sharing a lot of stories of how I embraced my fears and discovered most of them were foolish. And uh, realized that fear is a huge limitation that so we, do, we don't do so many things because of fear, not because of any other good reason. And uh, that limits our life dramatically. That we don't do so many things because of fear, although some of them we want to do or some of them would be good for us. But the question is, do we want to limit our life? Do we want to be limited by our fears? Or do we want fears to be the pointers to our growth? So I won't go forever blabbling, babbling, babbling, but I'll probably talk about fears more specifically in another video, but I hope you found this inspiring enough to pressure test some of your fears. Thank you for watching and as always keep questioning. Boom.